All the tools on this list are either new or received a significant update within the last year. And I have affiliate links to all of these down in the video description. Those really help out my channel, so I'd appreciate if you use those. Thank you so much. I've said it before and I'll say it again, I absolutely love me a good shadow plugin. Well, Shadow Studio 3 is the ultimate After Effects shadow plugin. It unleashes stunning ray trace shadows and lighting effects. You can simulate 3D phenomena like global illumination and glossy reflections based on your alpha channel. You can craft voluminous results with directional and point lights. Explore over 36 presets for creative kickstarts and leverage the intuitive gradient editor for perfect blending. Shadow Studio 3 really does it all and you can really get whatever look you're going for. Again, go look at some of the samples over on the product page. Very impressive. PinPal is the vector editor for Adobe After Effects. It transforms your workflow by introducing Bezier Precision. Flip paths, break and align points, simplify complex paths, and much more. Version 2 enhances interactivity with a live UI panel, offering intuitive controls for dragging, snapping, and tangent manipulation. Say goodbye to constantly jumping between Illustrator and After Effects. PinPal will empower you to edit shapes as they truly are, seamlessly bridging the gap between After Effects and vector editing. Workflower is an insanely powerful utility for After Effects. It markets itself as the missing essentials. It's really great for grouping layers, applying adjustment layers to selected layers, cloning, merging mats, and much, much, much more. A lot of these tools are very, very great for my GeoLayers homies. If you've used GeoLayers, you know how hard it is to pre-comp. That's where Workflow comes in and saves the day. No more need for pre-comping. If you want to see just how powerful this tool is, head over to the product page and look at all of these features. So Lockdown first hit the scene in 2018. It's an insanely powerful tool in After Effects that allows you to track warping and planar surfaces. With this new version, you can give your mesh 3D depth. And you can easily send the mesh to Cinema 4D, Blender, and other 3D applications where you can attach objects, digitally relight, and much, much more. And look at that awesome map! And what's super cool is that version 3 is bundled with two other powerful tools, PaintLink and Composite Brush. With PaintLink, you can actually use Photoshop's new AI generative fill on moving footage. Need I say more? If you're curious, go play around with the demo version. Icon Library 2D brings over 27,000 icons from popular open source libraries to After Effects, Illustrator, and Photoshop as native shape layers. In the latest version, Fluent UI and Box Icons are added, expanding the icon count to 27,501. The UI offers quick access, blazing fast search, and resizable options. Definitely a cool tool for map makers. MoGraph AE is a powerful toolkit facilitating swift creation of intricate animations through three cloners and five effectors. The grid cloner organizes layers into a grid, while the array cloner arranges them in a radial array, and as the name implies, the linear cloner aligns layers linearly. Effectors like field impact layer properties based on proximity, step influences layer properties based on layer index, allowing you to animate sequentially, inheritance morphs layer position and rotation between cloners for smooth transitions, Target repels layers and points them towards it, very useful in map animation scenarios, and noise affects layer properties based on a random noise pattern. Super cool, I urge you to check it out. I also urge you to follow the creator on Twitter. Autofill is an amazing plugin. When it first dropped in 2021, it really made waves, no pun intended. Version two is officially released back in August of 2023, and it's been re-engineered from the ground up to really take advantage of the latest performance features in Adobe After Effects, including multi-frame rendering. There's a new caching system for real-time previews without having to re-simulate, no more flickering. There's an all new style builder that allows you to produce complex, multi-layered styles. There's a bunch of built-in presets as well as project file presets. There's three new speed map modes, gradients, all kinds of cool stuff. They even have their own autofill wiki. I love all the tools from Plugin Everything. With Relativity, you can arrange layers horizontally and vertically in rows, columns, grids, and circles, all based on their relationship to other layers and the composition. You can offset transform properties like position, scale, rotation, and opacity based on the first selected layer. You can do relative grids, oblique grids, auto row, auto column, diagonal, create dynamic text blocks, do radial arrays, and you can combine all these modes together to create really complex animations very easily. Type is a super powerful toolset for animating text layers. 
With it, you can animate text being typed out by character, word, or line. You can make text flow up or from the middle. You can add customizable blinking cursors. You can highlight. You can add boxes. Create automatic time counters that precisely tracks with the time of the layer itself. Do powerful number rigs, all with the click of a button. There are mono space controls, and you can cut up any text layer by word, line, or character. Type has a super sexy UI, very minimal, but very powerful. The type of tool you always wanted. Extrudalizer allows you to extrude any 2D shape layer into virtual 3D space. Control its depth, position, rotation, and scale. You can set up appearance, animation, and even manipulate the original 2D path with the extrudalized shape repeating this manipulation. My favorite part is that it is 100% Lottie compatible for web use. Another banger from Blaze is Local Diffusion. This is a text to image generator based on Stable Diffusion. The prompting is pretty versatile. They have a simple and effective mechanism where prompts are entered via mask names and can be weighted by the mask opacity. This is wild. You can even keyframe the prompt's weight to interpolate between objects and find interesting concepts. There's a source plus text mode, which allows you to specify a layer that will guide the image's creation. This means that prompting and interpolation can be applied to your own footage. You can take full control over the model used, the aspect ratio, guidance scale, and the seed. All this allows for fast iterations and experimentation. Stretch is an After Effects plugin that allows you to stretch pixels along curved paths made with two mask shapes. And you can really stretch images in two ways, along or across masks. There are a ton of parameters that allow you to control the distortion, randomize with a parameter called strips, Preview your stretch in wireframe mesh mode. You can really fine tune the transparency along the stretches via opacity ramps. And you can even quickly create a seamless looping animation via a single click. Now, if you've ever tried to work with SVG files in After Effects, you know how frustrating the process is. That's why I personally was super happy to see this new tool, SVG to AE. This not only allows you to effortlessly bring in SVG files, but it turns them into shape layers. Image Paster is another very interesting tool from the same creator of SVG to AE. This allows you to copy and paste clipboard images into After Effects and Photoshop. Simply copy an image while browsing the web, open up the extension, and then Ctrl or Command V, blam. It has transparent PNG support in Photoshop and a handful of other formats. Go check it out. Nebulosity is an AE plugin that allows you to do volumetric effects, things like nebulas, galaxies, clouds, and smoke. Naturally, it's GPU accelerated, and it generates the volumes with the help of noise, layers, and ramps that can all be colorized via different techniques. Pretty crazy stuff. You have some pretty cool controls for emission gradients and depth composing. Definitely go give it a try. Mass Prompter is a new tool from Blaze Plugins. This is an AI-based plugin revolutionizing matte generation with automated rotoscoping. I absolutely hate rotoscoping. It's really as easy as using points and boxes to detect and generate black and white mats and alpha channels for objects in your footage. They even have an insane feature called text-based matting, which allows you to use natural language to describe the objects you want to key. With Dynamic Shadow 2, you can apply shadow and light reflection to selected objects and adjust the angle based on the layer position. It has an extremely easy to use UI, you can use it to mimic sunlight. One really cool feature is that you can create a 3D directional shadow from any shape and then customize with flexible settings. Handy Hands 2 revolutionizes hand creation with a single shape layer, offering flexibility at a click. Rig and animate character hands seamlessly. The update introduces style buttons for quick customization, including simple fill, separated, tapered, stroke, and advanced stroke. Manage buttons facilitate easy adjustments like swapping left-right or adding a linked hand. The compact icon-based panel ensures an intuitive experience. As the name implies, with Pixel Sorter 3, you can do pixel sorting glitch effects inside of both After Effects and Premiere Pro. Version 3 enhances experimentation with new features including mass constraints for sorting, simplified noise addition, and mirror sorting for smoother, loopable animations. The update also introduces the floating particles feature, creating the illusion of particles emanating from the image. Trippy brah. Go check out some of the examples over on the product page. Cell Division transforms layers into fluid, interconnected shapes, seamlessly blending and softening the corners. The tool offers various modes, including bubble mode, providing a transparent bubble effect that users can customize. With options like normal, layers, and contents, it enhances adhesion between layers and shapes. Again, this is an interesting plugin that I think you could use in your map animations as well. Newton, the famous 2D physics engine for After Effects, received a big update in 2023. 
they released version four. Now, if you've never heard of this tool before, it essentially allows you to create realistic physics in After Effects. You can transform your 2D layers into authentic simulations of real world objects. There are a ton of new features in version four, including trigger-matic body type, hidden body parameter, water-like body parameter, grenade body parameter, a teleportation mechanism, weld join. This tool is insanely powerful. I urge you to go check out the product page where there are a bunch of different tutorials. You can actually download a trial version, so head over there and check it out. Boring Dashes is pretty cool. This simplifies the creation and animation of dash strokes in Adobe After Effects. If you're like me, then you're tired of those issues where you have like sliding dashes and the number of dashes will change as you adjust your paths. Well, this script provides a hassle-free solution, ensuring consistent and smooth motion graphics. And it has all the parameters to control your effect in one simple panel, making the whole process super easy. Honestly, this annual list would never be complete without a tool from the crew at Battleaxe. Well, this year they updated their powerful rubber hose tool. With version three, you can really rig anything you want in After Effects. Rubber hose allows you to build a simple rig with a click or by drawing a path. You can style the limbs with a collection of powerful presets or create your own. If you really want to do a deep dive into all the new features of Rubber Hose 3, go check out my homie's video, Jake Bartlett. I'll link to that in the video description. By the way, he works for Battle Axe, so if for some wild reason you're not subscribed to Jake, uh, do that now. With Break It, you can create captivating break effects for your images in just a few clicks. It allows you to achieve multiple breaks at different places. The process involves selecting the subject, masking the desired break locations, and then controlling the break times with markers. It has really simple settings offering control over the explosion wave, force direction, viscosity, gravity, particle size, and number of breaks. Okay, so there you have it, 24 plugins to use in 2024. If I missed any cool ones, please let me know down in the comment section. And if you wanna see more plugins, check out all the roundups I did from previous years. Those links are also in the video description.